<laughs> so what do you got to do to build muscle? Well, you got to give yourself a small caloric surplus. You got to have multiple methods of tracking. You got to give it time, take the right supplements, and most importantly, you got to get a coach. Step number one is that you got to give yourself a small caloric surplus, and you got to be monitoring your weight every single week. Now, me personally, I tell my clients to gain roughly 0.25 pounds per week, so that in one month, you would gain one pound. Now at the same time, we want to be able to have multiple methods of tracking muscle and fat. So the first method obviously is the scale. You can use actual numbers. They might be off. I find that the scale isn't great when your body fat is low and your muscle is already really high. At that point, it's a matter of are you hydrated or not hydrated. It works better for the mid, like the 18 plus body fat and the muscle that is below 40, but it is a method to be able to track. The second is that I would tell you that as you add more muscle, you're going to be adding more strength. So I'd get you to track your overall strength from your squats, your chest press, your lat pull downs, deadlifts, walking lunges, and military presses. Now at Fit Club, how would you measure that? It would be time based on resistance. So for instance, if you're able to squat the 120 pound silver kettlebell in 30 seconds. Let's say in 30 seconds you're able to go that kettlebell right to the floor and straighten your legs right up so it's got to be perfect form and in that 30 seconds you're able to rep out eight reps and you did this every week and after eight weeks you're able to go from let's say eight reps all the way up to 12 reps well, right then and there, we know that you've already put on muscle because your strength in the same amount of time has gone up. The next would be photos, is that you wanna take photos where you can see skin, right? So like if you're a female, either just completely go nude and never show any of these photos to anybody or blank them out yourself, or just get some kind of cover because we wanna see muscle into the chest, we wanna see muscle all throughout the stomach when it comes to your thighs and your abs, like get into the panties because you want to be able to see all the muscle in that area. For men, you know, high like briefs are perfect. And then this way you can see high thighs, you can see your glutes, all of that. You want to take a photo where you're going to be able to see muscles in all different areas of your body because people have different muscle in different parts of their body. Some of you might have played soccer when you're young, so you might have great thighs. Some of you might have been swimmers when you're young, so your upper body has all that muscle that just needed to be revisited now that you're working out. So you want to be able to look at it from all different angles. So once again, the multiple methods of tracking. One is the scale. Yes, that's one. Two is strength over the same amount of time using the same amount of resistance. And three is the photos, but a photo that is showing the clear elements of your entire body. The third coaching tip I want to give to you is that you need to give it time. Because if you've been losing weight and dropping fat, just like gaining it, you won't see success right away. You're going to have to optimize your muscle building environment and do it for years versus weeks. It's easier to lose weight than it is to lose fat. It's easier to lose fat than it is to gain muscle. Gaining muscle is one of the toughest things to do because it generally requires a surplus and it requires a higher demand. A lot of those bodybuilders that are walking around with like 50 plus muscle, it's so hard for them to sustain that muscle. And that's why those guys, the really top guys, do it full time, right? They All they do is live in the gym and eat. That's pretty much their entire day. They need to eat because their caloric calories that it's required in their body is so high that even taking one step, they're losing muscle. So they're constantly taking supplements, constantly eating food, and they're constantly working out. A lot of us don't have the privilege of working out all day and just eating the other half of the day. So for us, we have to give it more time. We have to look at, okay, now that I've lost the weight and my body fat is low enough, that now I want to focus on gaining strength and muscle, which could result in an increase in weight, but we want to try to minimize the amount of fat that we gain 
so that we can focus on the muscle building. Okay, I think this is good enough for you for today. I want you to digest this. I want you to take some notes and I want you to, to start strategizing what you're gonna do if you've dropped your weight and your body fat is low enough that now we can really start to focus on muscle. So in the next video, I'm gonna give you some supplement tips. I'm gonna tell you what the main element that you need to do, but also for somebody that maybe has high body fat, still has weight to lose, should they be focusing on the caloric surplus if they wanna gain muscle. That's all gonna be done in the next video. We'll see you there.